Hello everyone. Today we uh, we're gonna deal with this Lenovo all in one PC. This is Idea, yeah, Idea Center all in one PC and the model number. Let's check out. Yeah, five twenty dash twenty two i k e okay as you can see there is a error code 1962 and it says no operating system found okay the thing is somehow the operating system already been deleted or damaged now we're going to show you how to uh, reinstall system get into bios change the boot option and uh, reinstall independently okay so first of all what are you going to do we're gonna connect a USB drive which is this is the Windows 10 Pro bootable one now I'm going to show you how to get into BIOS All right. so now we're gonna press and hold the power button check out turn off press the power button immediately come back to f1 or f2 then don't link in okay all right so now first of all my first option is security as you can see here and then go to secure boot hit enter as you can see the secure boot is enabled make it disabled because if you don't put it on disable mode, then you can't turn on the legacy. That's the reason why we always disable it. And then go back to advanced check devices, USB setup. Let's double check. Yes. This is most important. Okay. Once you disable the secure boot, you must need to come back to the devices and go to USB setup, hit enter, and then both of them you must need to make it enable otherwise if you want to reinstall the system the usb can't recognize any bootable drive is there or not because you made it disabled right so make sure this is enable then press on escape go back to startup and then from here boot mode is only uefi so what are you going to do now we're going to make csm enable once you make CSM enabled, then only you can change the UEFI, UEFI to legacy. Let me show you one more time. Let's say example, year one is disabled. Once it disabled, even if you try to get into boot mode, which is UEFI only, you can go back. See, it skips. Okay, so in that way, what you need to do, due to change that, make sure CSM is enabled. As you can see now, it goes here and choose legacy first. Hit enter to select it. Now press F10 to save this. F10, hit enter. Now hopefully, let's check out. Let's check what happened. All right, so if you press F12, you can see the startup menu. I'm going to choose Philips USB flash drive because my Windows installer is there. Hit enter. Now you're going to see the Windows logo. There you go. Shouldn't take that long, but some computers it does because this is Core i3 7 Gen. I don't think so there is more than four gigabyte well, let's check out we're gonna wait until the uh, first screen of setup all right so now you know what to do do whatever you like I always choose the United Kingdom good go next hit enter Accept the terms and condition, click on next, custom install because we are not doing any upgrade. 
from here as you can see there are a few partition okay I would like to delete all of them somehow somehow the system was corrupted so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna format it I don't want to repartition it format and then second one as well format it anyhow and then the first one that's what I like format now I'm going to choose the second one click next and the main process will progress on okay so that's how you reinstall Windows for Lenovo uh, Team Center I believe yeah sorry Lenovo Idea Center all-in-one 520-22 India Kilo Uniform okay so that's the model just to make sure I'm going to show you the model number we put it here as you, you can see this is the sticker all right now as you can see it is progressing everything is back to normal okay so let me highlight the option first if you have any problem if you would like to get into BIOS you need to press F1 F2 both of them randomly one of them definitely should work and then go to the advanced security turn off secure boot Go back to devices make sure usb uh, always on enable it and then you must need to go to startup make sure you turn on the csm and then once it turn on you can choose the legacy first and you can reinstall it so still if you have any question make sure you leave a comment below and if you do like this video please don't forget to like it and if you do subscribe that would really help me also you can get all my updates and features thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next video bye for now